Hey everybody, I am Erica Carlson with Bricks Real Estate and I'm here to bring you the Wright County market update. Uh, whether you are thinking about selling, you are a current homeowner and you know you don't have to be selling or a home buyer, I think that you'll find this information helpful. And I wanna dig right in at the information where it looks like when you look at the general information, like there's um, a lot, like a lot of slowing and maybe like a lot of options, but it's actually the opposite of that. So while you're looking at my screen and you see the data going um, or the active listings going up week over week, and that's great, right? Because we're at 464 with no contingencies and that just feels like we have a lot more choice. However, it just really is nothing. We are still in a complete inventory shortage. And so that's important to keep in mind um, if you are frustrated with the shopping experience or you're thinking about selling a house, um, we're actually like moving along at a pretty good speed even though we're in the middle of summer, right? We're in the July point at this time. And then when we look at the pending and closing the data, you know, it just hasn't changed that much. So we're going to just move past that and uh, move into our showings per week per listing. And I love this data because it gives us an idea of how many people are out there actually buying houses. And so you can see on my screen three to four in this past week for Wright County, and then a little bit faster at the five to six with Hennepin. So we mean literally average showings in each of these houses. That's what it's coming out to. So of course, if someone just lists their house, they might have a lot more showings than that. And then of course, if they've been on market longer, it would be a little bit slower. And about three weeks is still about what we're experiencing. Of course, lots of houses sell in the first weekend, so I don't mean to be misleading. Um, now, just real quick before I move past this, notice it was a little bit slower last week and we, we talked about that because it was July 4th week. A lot of people go out of town. I think that's affected this week too. However, I don't expect it to just, you know, all of a sudden have just crazy numbers. Um, July is just a slower time to sell a house in Minnesota. And then um, that data to me is a little bit more interesting than this data. And again, I think it's a middle, little misleading because the last three years, it's like, it's all seller's market. But when you look at the way the graph is, and when I'm saying, hey, you know, it takes 2.3 months before we would run out of all the inventory in the 250 to 500K range in Wright County. Um, and that's just residential sales, of course. Um, that That's also like, it sounds like, oh, then there's a lot of houses. Absolutely not. That's that's definitely a seller's market. And we are inching towards a buyer's market. I don't mean to um, you know, mislead on that. It's headed there to more of like a balance market, but it is still a seller's market, just not as red, hot, crazy as it, as it was before. Uh, so my information, if you're interested in getting a hold of me, is in the link. And then I want to show you this home buyer's guide I made, just in case you're interested. It's free, not a big deal. Um, I have a, a sales one or a seller's one as well for you to check out. Um, that my summer edition for buying a home is different than my typical smart home buyer guide. That one is on my website at www.iheartmplshomes.com. Uh, you can always download the seller and buyer guide, which are just fantastic books for anybody to look over. But this one is a little bit more um, particular to the actual summer market, like what's happening, um, things that are affording affordability, uh, reasons to own a house, like just more general information about home ownership right now and how it's just very particular to this time of year. Um, and then I have a seller's one too. So I hope you will check that out when you click my link. Um, then you can also get information on who I am and how to reach me. Uh, so I'd love for you to check that out.